The second richest man of China was knifed recently by a man who was denied a job. Folks, I'm not advocating violence in any way. But the world's wealthy need to pay attention to this. This guy was chairman of a food and beverage giant, was fabulously wealthy, turned down a gentleman looking for a job, and the guy apparently snapped and knifed him. Again, I'm not advocating violence. But this is, in fact, one reason why a lot of people view the problem of, of mass, mass economic inequality as something that needs to be addressed, even if they don't really care that much about poor people. They're doing it out of self-interest. And at some point, you can only surround yourself with so many personal bodyguards and security agents and fences. But if we, it doesn't matter if you're in China or the United States. If we have enough tens of millions or even billions of people unemployed or virtually starving to death, they are going to take matters into their own hands, ladies and gentlemen.